Welcome to week five of the high school football season. And after tonight, we're halfway home. And after tonight, the number of undefeated teams across the area will go down. Let's do the game of the week. Big eight style, 4-0 and o Verona on the road at 4-0 and o Middleton. Oh, slugfest. Verona with the ball. Max Fink going up top. Jake Herkert, 6'5". I wish I was 6'5". He goes up and gets 48 yards for the touchdown. That made it 10-0 Wildcats. And Drew King was the man of the week last week, but today, yeah. second fumble of the game in the fourth quarter, and Middleton is in business. Next drive, fourth and goal, got to have it. Davis Rocky gets in for the touchdown to cut the lead to 10-7. Now, the Cardinals with a 20-yard field goal to, to tie or not. Joel Polisek pulls it. Oh, last chance for Verona on fourth and 10. Oh, he swallowed up. Verona holds on to win 10-7. Jay Wilson, the post game. The game lived up to its billing, and Verona comes away with a 10-7 win, and Brad Laufenberg in that defense. You guys gave up some yards tonight, but you didn't give up a whole lot of points. Talk about the defensive effort, really the defensive effort all year. You know, our defense, you know, some guys don't have the best game all the time, but other guys, you know, picking up our back. You know, we might bend, might but we're never going to break. You know? And our offense, chewing up that clock, that helps a lot too. It's, it's, a team, it's a team effort. And defensively, there were so many big plays where you need to stop so you don't have to the time you need. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we're clutch. Like, our teammates, our D-line, our linebackers, they can fill. I mean, Middleton, they got some good backs, some good old linemen, but they, we did our job tonight. That's all we need to do. Tell us what this victory means to the Verona football program. It's a big one. It's all right. I, I've been in high school four years now. haven't beat Middleton once, so it's definitely, it definitely feels great. Well, you're beating them now. Yeah, oh yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Brad Laufenberg and Verona winning at 10-7. Right. Jay, thank you. More Big 8 action. La Follette hosting Madison West. Yes for three. Katie Feller. Ladies night. The chip shot with plenty to spare. No problem. Challenger next time. Lancers up three to nothing. La Follette with the ball and driving. Julian Patton over the middle. Picked. Terrell Carey is a player. He giveth and he taketh away. Playing both ways. Next play. The Regents don't waste any time. Keyshawn Shanklin. 37 yards. X-Man. Xavier Miller. The catch sheds the tackler and he will go to the house later. It's Shanklin again. I told you about Carey earlier, right? Yeah, there he is again. 77 yards. Whee! At the end, he scores, and West wins on the road, 28 to 17. Sun Prairie hosting Beloit Memorial. The Cardinals were flying high tonight. Jalen Taylor takes the handoff. Gets big yardage every week. Knocked out of bounds. There's a little jawn, but hey, it's Friday Night High School football. It's all love in the end. More Cardinals, screen pass. Taylor would be celebrating more because, well, he does this. Coats the jersey with the nonstick cooking spray and will go the rest of the way for the touchdown. And we're gonna stay on the ground with Draven Peoples. Oh, my Peoples. Happy with this, keeps his feet and scores. 42-0, Sun Prairie gets the shutout win. Two other scores from the Big Eight tonight. Janesville Parker wins the Battle of Janesville. 34-14 the final there. We'll call it a defensive slugfest. Madison East goes on the road and wins at Memorial 7-6. to six. Two more undefeateds hooking up in Wanakee. The Warriors haven't really been tested at all this season. Mount Horror Barnevelt is coming off a blowout win in week four over Portage. But only one can leave happy and one can leave 5-0. and oh. Javian Dane, the big fella, just keeps going and going. 13 yards, the extension, the touchdown, and a 7-0 Wanakee lead. Vikings trying to answer back on the ground. Clint Murray, keep it, score it. We're going back and forth. More ground game. Jackson Rose, smells sweet, coming right at you. The refs would confer and give the kid a touchdown. But Scott Hall, going to keep, going to score. He yeah, reaches in, and the Warriors hang on. 28 to 20, the final. They are five and Oh, more scores from tonight. Reedsburg beats DeForest, doubling them up 28 to 14. Ford Atkinson knocks off Portage 42 to 28. The Cheesemakers win again 42 to 18 over Milton. 
Rona Grove in a seesaw affair wins 26 to 21. Baraboo blows out Sauk Prairie 42 to 10, and Stoughton squeaks by Edgewood 28 to 20. Columbus taking on Poinette. First quarter, Noah Coughlin going to take the handoff, and he will not stop until he crosses that goal line. 40 yards, the big strider for the touchdown later in the half. Peyton Henry keeps the offense a going. Plunges in for the score. Columbus beats point at 40 to 6, the final in week five. The Blue Devils, Lodi, beat Lakeside Lutheran 21 to 7. Lake Mills over Luther Prep 49-28. New Glarus Monticello, no problems with Belleville tonight. Waterloo and Mineral Point also winners in week number five. Cuba City visiting undefeated Darlington. Oh, does the sky get better than on Friday Night Football? I don't think so. Redbirds, senior running back Hunter Johnson. You might have heard of him. But he can catch, too. Yeah, he can catch. He can dodge. He can score. 21 nothing. Darlington, hello. Johnson going to walk onto the Badgers next year. They'll be lucky to have him. I mean, it's, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. I really don't. This kid shows up every week. This time he's going 95 for the touchdown. When there's no one in the frame with you, that's pretty good work. And did I mention Hunter Johnson? I might have I might have, might have mentioned him. Now, yeah. plays defense too. The pick. We call that a pick six in the business. Four touchdowns, 407 offensive yards. Hello, that was in the first half. 68 to 20, Darlington wins their fifth straight win against Cuba City. Fenimore beats up on Boscobel tonight, hanging a zero, 56 to nothing. Iowa Grant gets by Southwestern, no problemo. And Ithaca, 28 nothing winners over Riverdale. You want more football? You have no choice because you're going to get some. A lot more. It's coming up next. Stick around.